Good morning, class. Hopefully there was a response there. As I'm sitting by myself and you are at home with your digital device and looking at the digital me as we begin math lesson number three for at-home learning. Today's math lesson, um, our objective is that we are going to add up to four two-digit numbers and we are going to use strategies based on our place value understanding and properties of operation. All right, so our problem says, and you can read it with me, at the circus, the clowns had 18 red balloons, 22 blue balloons, 36 green balloons, and 40 yellow balloons. If the clowns put them all together, how many balloons would there be? Now, there's a lot going on in this problem, um, but with any problem solving, it's always good to like figure out what is this problem actually asking. So I'm going to circle the question which is, if the clowns put them all together, how many balloons would there be? Okay, so there are, um, the clowns have 18 red balloons, they have 22 blue balloons, 36 green balloons, and 40 yellow balloons. So I want to add all of these together to figure out how many balloons there will be, which means I have four add-ins. Oh no, what should I do? I know what I can do. I can use some of the strategies that I have learned in school, which I'm going to review right now. One strategy is that I can add each place value individually. So I have my four add-ins, and I'm going to add the place value individually, meaning I'm going to add all the ones together first, and then the tens together. So I'm first going to line up all of these add-ins vertically. So there's my 18 balloons, 22 blue balloons, 36 green balloons, and 40 yellow balloons, my personal favorite. Um, and then I'm going to um, draw a, a vertical line to kind of separate, oh, here's ones on one side, my tens on the other side, and I can even draw an additional line to represent the hundreds. And if I, I'm gonna start with the ones place, so I'm gonna look at the eight ones for the number 18 and draw those out and switch colors to blue to draw the two ones from the 22 balloons, blue balloons, and six green ones for those 36 green balloons, and zero yellows. So I want to count up all these ones, and I'm going to circle a group of 10. So there's 10, and then I have six left out. So I'll have 10 and six, which together equals 16. Um, so that's the total for our ones. Remember, we're adding each place value individually. So those are the ones. And then I'm going to write that underneath the equation. Then I can move on to adding the tens. So I have one red, two blues, three greens, and four yellows, creating a nice pattern. Look at that. And again, I'm counting them. And when there's a group of ten, I'm going to circle that. It looks like we have all of them, which is 100. We write it underneath the equation. So we have those two partial sums. By place value, adding up 16 and 100 equals 116. The next strategy that we're going to work on is successively add each add-end. Successively means we're doing one after the other. So first I'm going to write 18, my first add-end and also 22. So we're going to add these together first before adding the other ones, the, the other add-ins. So 18 plus 22, 8 plus 2 is 10 for the ones place, and in the tens place we have 10 plus 20 to equal 30. Um, then we add those two partial sums together, 10 plus 30 to equal 40. So you can see we've added 18, we've added 22, and now we're going to add 36 in succession, meaning in order. So adding 36 to 40, um, we have 0 plus 6 to equal 6, and 40 plus 30 to equal 70, which is 76. And now on the next one in order is our uh, yellow balloons. So we'll be adding 40 to 76. So 6 plus 0 is 6 and 70 plus 40 
is 110. And again, I apologize for the video. It's been very jumpy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, on this one, the video is not working. So here's just um, a picture of my work. So this strategy is adding two add-ins, then the other two add-ins, then add those two sums together. So we're going to be doing 18 plus 22, add those together, then add 36 plus 40 together, and then add those two partial sums to equal our total sum. So you can see that I added 18 plus 22 to equal 40, uh, the 36 green balloons and the 40 yellow balloons to equal 76. So we have 40 plus 76 over on the right side, and when I add that together, it equals 116. Now this is a good strategy if we have a whole lot of add-ins, um, and um, rather than having it too me get too messy, it's good to just chunk it and do a couple at a time um, using the associative property. So we know how to add two add-ins, then the other two, then add it all together. We successively or in, added each add-in in order, and we also added each place value individually. To answer our question of if the clowns put them all together, how many balloons would there be? And we now know that there would be 116 balloons. Now it is your turn to continue on with your lesson and practice some problems on your own.